In this video, I will show you how to start a live stream with TikTok. You have to check if your channel is already enabled for this because there are usually three different ways to go live on TikTok. First option, just use the smartphone camera normally. Second option is through a software called TikTok Live Studio. And the third option is through a so-called RTMP server, which is what you know from big professional streams if you want to have a professional broadcast or, for example, from a gaming console. The things that are unlocked for you, you can see them best when you open the TikTok app and swipe to the right. Then you will be able to see a button on the right side of the screen that is called Live. And there it either says Live Normally or it says TikTok Live Studio. Alternatively, there is the option of using an external game console, PC or a similar device. Before you can even go live, your channel must have a certain number of followers. And if you have already been live on TikTok a few times through the smartphone app, then you can get unlocked for the TikTok Live Studio. This is a program that you can download for Windows and there you have a wide range of different options to construct overlays. But you can also invite moderators here, for example, who are then allowed to moderate your stream. The great thing about these overlays is that many of them also have TikTok functions. That means, for example, you can also display comments directly or any milestones you want to achieve on TikTok together with your viewers. And now you can use this software, for example, to tap into multiple cameras, for example, here simply the webcam, and then you can build such overlays on the right side of the image, for example. As you may notice, this is currently in landscape format, but of course you can also create a so-called portrait stage in this software so that it really looks like TikTok. There are also some nice templates available that you can choose from to determine what you want to display, such as different cameras or recorded videos. And then you can also switch to portrait mode. So at this moment, a few things are already being displayed here, and now I can add more elements, for instance, a pre-recorded video that I then combine with my live video. Here, I'll just select something from the hard drive, a test video here, a few model trains that drive from left to right, and now I can resize the whole thing here and could either broadcast it live, for example, or now, for example, comment on this recorded video live with a live voice. I can set multiple scenes. This means, like in OBS, I can switch between scene one and scene two to provide a professional broadcast with seamless transitions and create an immersive viewing experience for the audience. You can prepare everything wonderfully and at some point you can go live on air. Then simply press the live button at the bottom right and then you can also give this live stream a cover image, can enter various description texts here, but still have to select a category in which you want to stream. And then a few seconds later, you can see that this channel is also live with this video. The next option, which is also a highly professional alternative, involves sending the video via a so-called RTMP server. This is a feature that TikTok is currently enabling for individual TikTok users. And you can swipe all the way to the right to see if this feature is already available to you. Then on your screen when going live, the PC or game console function appears. And if you press Start Now, you have this function that enables you to send a stream signal directly to the TikTok server. So you will be given the server URL and a secret stream key in this case. And at this point, you will have the ability to utilize any streaming software that you would typically use for other live streams like OBS. Now you just have to enter the new streaming URL at the top under Stream, in this case the RTMP server from TikTok, and this secret stream key, and then you have the potential to start broadcasting if desired. What I desire to accomplish at this moment, however, is not to transmit in landscape format, but rather to convert this stream to portrait format. That is the reason why I am going to access the screen settings initially and configure the stage here as a 9 to 16 format instead of 16 to 9. And now, just like you know from other streams, I can simply move my camera around on this stage or stick a channel logo somewhere or display a lower third or load a pre-recorded video as a scene into this live stream. In order to observe the true effectiveness on TikTok, I constructed a personal template with grid lines to accurately measure the amount of content that transfers from my screen to the smartphone device. And I would highly recommend you to try that out because then you can optimize all your screen elements for a portrait format stream. 
For example, the comments start here at the bottom and the picture is good up here. Or do I maybe have a belly band on the side here or do I have to completely rebuild my stage design? You can simply enter this very nicely with such a grid now. And I use that, for example, at professional events where we do TikTok and Instagram live streaming. Yes, and how it works on Instagram, the same goes for a professional live stream program I'll show you in the second video.